She was named as one of the 100 great South Africans in a survey done by the SABC. South Africa's queen of talk, Felicia Mabuza Sattel, is living her dreams. From growing up in Soweto, she realized her potentials and became one of South Africa's pioneers in the fields of communications, business, inspirational speaking and philanthropy, amongst others. Felicia Mabuza Sattel released her latest book entitled Felicia Live Your Dreams. She is with us here in studio. Wow, wow, wow. Thank Look you, at Leanne. You. Thank you very much. I feel like I'm back home in the studio. Hey, it is, is so yes, exciting. Tell me, what did it feel like walking back into the SABC after all these years? Memories, nostalgia. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm walking into my own house. Oh, that's a, <laughs> it must be an awesome feeling. No, it Dude, is. And congratulations to you guys. In fact, um, as I walked in, now someone said, We stand on the shoulders of giants so it yeah. is so great your co-host is on you said yes mm -hmm. oh that's so nice uh -huh. isn't it lovely that was great you know we I, I have to tell you i mean when i was when i was much 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 younger we won't give too much age away i actually sat in the audience of one of your shows oh <laughs> one of your live recording shows when i was still trying to break into this industry and i sat uh -huh. and i watched you and i thought wow <laughs> this is a this is quite a nice place to be i wonder what nice it would be like to, to be a presenter and there you are and here i'm interviewing there you, you. Are, so it's just you. amazing how things go but I mean for you what was it like having that Felicia show I think for me it was more of a calling because in 1991 when Nelson Mandela came to the US he called on all South Africans living abroad to come back home to come and serve and I said to myself what have I studied I had studied broadcast communications I had a degree in broadcast and print journalism so I said let me use the medium to bring black and white South Africans together yeah copied Phil Donahue except that I always tell Americans talk show is a South African or an African concept the, the Indabas you know how the Indunas in the in the villages bring together all the villages to come and talk that's really what we're doing let the people say what they have to say. Hear the people out. And um, the rest is history. It we had is. a great time. Because the time. discussions were rigorous. I mean, as yep. much as you had wonderful guests on the show as yeah. well, you did get South Africans to talk. And mm -hmm. it was in 1992. And things were at, they, it was a boiling pot at that, that time. That's right. And I mean, you would have blacks and whites and everybody sitting mm -hmm. and talking together. And you would have to hold us together. That couldn't have been an easy job. It was tough because it was a new concept obviously. Um, sometimes we had to go through an hour or so of educating people about how to speak on television, what to say, the 30 second sound bite. But I would say, what color is your sweater? Lien and someone would say, I have to tell you first the history of the sweater. Yeah. And I said, no, no, what color is the sweater? <laughs> no, no, no. First, my mother had the sweater oh, and yeah, she yeah. loved it. But then my aunt wanted the sweater. She so it was difficult to get people to say exactly what you wanted them to say. And yes, some people said I used to yank the mic away, but you had to move on. This yeah, is television. Absolutely. You don't have the whole day. So it was quite an educational process and we, I, I enjoyed it greatly. Yeah. And I know, I mean, television is the biggest battle of television is the lack of time. That's and right. I but I hear you're, you're re doing reruns of the show. I'm seeing a lot on Twitter. Yes. And I'm enjoying the, the tweets, especially from young people who say, wow, I wish we had something like this again, but I, I just love what I, I did. And I just love to see that we played a difference in the lives of many South Africans. And this is really what we've also captured in the book. Excellent. This book is not about Felicia. Yeah. It is about your dreams. It is about how you make your dreams a reality. I mean, the chapters themselves are not about Felicia and Felicia's dream dreams they are about happiness we talk about gratitude we talk about uh, finding your passion we talk about succeeding against all odds Indeed. half the time we're all worried about success but success is about self-empowerment but move that success to significance you've accomplished your success right now significance is about empowering others and helping others and that's what this book is all about I, I literally say your life is your purpose your story is important your dreams count your voice matters live your dream 
and that's what the book and that's is what the book is about. about. But so it's the, it's a it's a completely different book to what you brought up previously because your no, previous book was was more about your life, it your was, autobiography, that's, and what I wanted. But what this is I the want. lessons learned through life, and and people can take this. And like you say, I mean, it's a it's a, it's a it's about keeping your eye on the prize and talking more about what you've seen, unfair criticism coming from America, uh -huh. imposing mm. American mm. values on mm. South Africans, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and that Oprah wannabe, that, that perhaps you got that title somewhere along the line. Um, I'd and rather be a wannabe than a never been. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I really like that. And you wanted that. to know what I used, by the way, to stay looking young. Yeah, that's, you that's the, the, you've got to give us this tip. How do you do it? Oil of delay. <laughs> <laughs> delay. You should market it. But I told somebody that... Um, I'm on preferment. <laughs> and they said, are you on retirement? I said, no, I'm on preferment. Preferment is doing only what I prefer to do, yeah. literally. I know it's a word I coined, played around, because people were trying to say I was on retirement. I'm not on retirement. And that's why I prefer to be with you and the lovely South African audience today. Yeah. And I mean, you just look at these photographs of the people that you've come across and met in your lives. And that's, that's minus the, the, oh, wow, wow. Okay, I opened the page on Bill Cosby. <laughs> no, no, that's the first picture I see teaching Bill Cosby a South African dance. He was nice to you, wasn't he? He was good to me. <laughs> okay, good. He Let's good not go there. Let's, Let's not, not even Let's go, not go there. there. We yeah. won't bring up another story there. <laughs> but now, you are living in America, right? Yes. What's I, it like? I miss home. My body is in America. My heart is in South Africa. I miss home. I'm not going to lie. I miss the warmth of our people. I miss the smiles. I miss the, the, the smells. I miss the scenery. I miss that Ubuntu. In fact, you talked about Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Yes. And it's his birthday today. A quote I learned literally from Desmond Tutu. The brilla and the brilla, so I have to change the brilla <laughs> and get these brilla quickly. Yeah. But uh, on his birthday, he said, you might have much of the world's riches and you might hold a position of authority, but you have, if you have no Ubuntu, you do not amount to much. And that's what I'd like to instill in young people. That's a beautiful Ubuntu way. Is, a beautiful that's way. That's what the to, book is also about. That's stunning. And the book is available in bookstores around the country. Yes, and I, I know that's the SABC copy, but I brought you a Yay, copy. Yeah, you take that they, one back. I want this you. one. That's the, this is the signed copy, and that's the unsigned copy. That's right. Felicia, what a pleasure. Yeah, and what Such an, an honor, honor to meet you, thank have you, you here in studio, and to have you visiting us back in South Africa. And thank you for being Hope a to see you at Scoops on Thursday. Yes. We're signing books there that's the signing. at 6 30. In Scoops, Santon? That's right. Okay, uh -huh. and that's happening on Thursday. Yeah, at Monte Casino. Oh, at Monte right. Casino, Monte I beg your pardon. Yeah. What time will that be happening? 6.30. Okay. And I'll be there. Excellent. Hugging and kissing. Well, if you can <laughs> get down there, it'll be absolutely wonderful to see Felicia in the flesh, buy her book, get it signed, and live your dream, because that's what it's all about. All right, Phil, let's get you a quick... Let's